Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after... there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling. Uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out.
collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. 
I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know, but if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. I didn't mean to... Uh, are you hurt? Takes more than that one shot to bring me down. Sorry. I didn't even realize you were human until... Well... I guess I'm not much of a soldier. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. Most Batarians aren't genocidal madmen, but these ones are terrorists. Yeah, I know. It's just... this isn't how I expected the world to be when I rolled out of bed this morning. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes, no idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. 
There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. You'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard.
This is Dr. Hines. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them.
really pissed them off. Their leader's setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! <sighs> Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. Get her out of here!
Right there, this doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Bollock wants you dead. And what Bollock wants, Bollock gets. I can't change that. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down! This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him. And so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Alex, hold up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock.
Almost more trouble than you're worth. Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council. Or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing. You humans have done far worse to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything? Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours? Aside from using resources that should have been ours? We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. You can go. But this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe. 
But I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she all right? Is her team? Balak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? Yeah, he could. Balak seemed like a practical man. Practical but callous. I'm sure if he'd been in my place, Ms. Bowman would be dead now, along with all the terrorists. But I'm not going to sacrifice people who happen to be between me and my target. So what happens now? The bad guys get away? Balak gets away today, but we'll still be after him tomorrow. And the day after that. Me, my crew, and every other crew in the Alliance. He'll run and he'll hide, but eventually he'll slip up and we'll get him. Bad guys never get away, son. Not unless the good guys give up. Well, I wouldn't want you after me. Shepard. Thank you, for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. I know it's a lot to ask, but... That Omni-Tool of yours? I could really use something like that. Shepard. I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. What's an Omni-Tool compared to that? I'll take it, with my blessing. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers? Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well then, I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. I can't believe you let Balak go. To save us. I half expected you to just let us die. Sacrifice the few for the many. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. 
Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing, no matter what. Your brother was the one Balak killed? Yes. Aaron, he was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Shepard. Commander Shepard. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. That was a brave thing you did, Kate. Contacting me on the radio, risking your life. Stubborn and determined runs in the family. My father was in the Alliance back on Earth. I think he was disappointed none of us kids signed up, but he'd be proud of Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> I just... Uh... What can you tell me about the Batarians? What were they hoping to achieve with all this? I don't even think they knew. When they first arrived, they were talking about getting us back to their ship. They wanted to sell us as slaves. When Balak showed up, everything changed. It was his idea to redirect the asteroid. Said it was the will of the Batarian Rebellion, whatever that is. They followed him quickly enough, but I don't know. I don't think they're all as fanatical as he was. How did the asteroid get all the way over here? Why wasn't someone alerted sooner? The asteroid was scheduled to arrive in a day or two. Balak just sped it up. This rock is full of valuable minerals, but it was too far from Terra Nova to be profitable, so we attached some fusion rockets to it and drove it back. It was all going smoothly until... We'll get everything back to normal soon enough. <laughs> Almost everything. You've been through a lot. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. Why now? What do the Batarians want? The people on Terra Nova should name a continent in your honor. I saw my life flash before my eyes too many times in the last few hours. At least the asteroid is still intact. We should be able to get this facility operational again soon enough. going to send this asteroid into... Can you imagine how many people would have died? It's going to take some time, but we should be able to get this facility operational again. Thank you again, Commander. You've done more than you know. There are millions of colonists out there who don't even know how close they came to dying. If you do find Balak one day, Remember my brother. You can't imagine how much you've done for all of us. I'm going to visit my family while we wait for the repair teams. <laughs> 